A disease that damages plants, including pohu takawa, manuka and fijoa trees, has been found on mainland New Zealand for the first time. Myrtle rust is prevalent in eastern Australia and Tasmania and was discovered in Raoul Islands in late March this year. This isn't good news at all. Our political reporter, May Heron, has more. The disease starts off as purple pustules under or on the tips of soft new leaves. It then turns into a bright yellow fungus. This distinct and easily spread disease is called myrtle rust and could cost millions of dollars to deal with. The Minister for Primary Industries, Nathan Guy, says a nursery in Kerikeri notified the Ministry on Tuesday that five of its Pohutukawa seedlings had the disease. We don't know how widely spread it is in Kerikeri. Are we just focusing in on one particular small area in the nursery or could it be further afield in Northland? So we need to, of course find out. We need to get people on the ground to understand how widespread it is. It's feared the incursion could have serious consequences for some native species, such as Pahutsukawa and Rata. Mr Guy says there is particular concern for the Fijoa and Manuka honey industries. We need uh, heightened awareness right now. Obviously the Fijoa season is underway. So our advice to anyone that's growing Fijoas or has purchased any trees, particularly from the Myrtle family, from this nursery or other nurseries in the Kerikeri region, that they please go out and inspect their trees. Since the Australian outbreak in 2010, the government says the disease has been expected to arrive in the country. It's thought the Myrtle rust spores were brought to New Zealand by wind. The Conservation Minister, Maggie Barry, says the disease is very hard to eradicate and control. We're so adamant that people shouldn't touch it uh, because it is easily spread. And the Australians admit that their biggest mistake in the early days was allowing too many people through because it brushes against people's clothing and at a certain stage of the sporing cycle it can be distributed by people, by animals, inadvertently. The government says the Queensland fruit fly and the bacterial kiwi fruit disease, PSA, cost hundreds of millions of dollars, and this disease could go the same way. The New Zealand First Leader and Northland MP Winston Peters says this is disastrous for his electorate and the government has not done enough to prepare for it. Now on the question of PSA, the government in the end had to front with money to compensate because they were seen to have allowed the entry to this country of the threat in the first place. And I think in this matter, just to keep on claiming it's windborne, that's how it's got here, is not good enough. The government says anyone believing they have seen myrtle rust on plants in New Zealand should call MPI immediately. From Parliament for Checkpoint, May Heron.